Hi, Virgo. Welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot. Hi, Virgo. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so happy Monday. This is your weekly reading from June 10th through the 16th. You guys, I hope you are absolutely fabulous this week. I hope you guys are, like, you know, accomplishing your goals, manifesting your dreams. A lot of you are, and I'm very proud of you. I hope you guys, you know, reach the top. <laughs> okay, accomplish everything you have in your heart. Okay, Virgo, that's what life is all about, okay? It's really, like, living the life that you vision creating your own vision and manifesting your dreams that's what it's about so guys let's see what this week now yesterday I did like a pre-weekly like reading um just to tap in the energy and it was a lot of money coming this week for some of you so look out for that so I'm gonna see what else comes out for you guys again this is your weekly June 10th through the 16th, we're going to start out with some uplifting motivational energy from our hip-hop queens. And let's see what's going on for Virgo. Wow. Confidence. All right. Confidence is the key this week. We have Gangsta Boo. So her, I, I have a book for all of these hip-hop queens. But basically what they're saying is that without having confidence, without, what, okay, so without having the confidence that she has, naturally, she wouldn't have been able to get as far as she did in her career. Being able to freely discuss certain topics, saying what it is off of her heart whatever is on her mind, just being herself is what got her far in the industry where she may have, you know, surpassed certain goals that she has set for herself. Okay, so this is the key, Virgo, this week is confidence is going to get you what you want this week. Okay, I'm loving that energy. We're going to embody Gangsta Boo's confidence this week and know that we can accomplish whatever we put our mind and heart to. We can achieve, receive whatever we desire. Holy Spirit, what is your message? What is your guidance? What is coming in for Virgo this week? For Virgo. Virgo needs confidence. To achieve their dreams. We have unexpected money. A blessing. A windfall of abundance. Alright Virgo. So this is crystal clear. This week. Okay. That for some of you. You're going to be receiving some sort of money. I feel like it's going to make you feel very confident guys. So this is what's coming through. I want to get a message from your angels. About this unexpected windfall. That's coming through. This could be the lottery win, scratch-offs. This could be a good time this week if you're into that whole thing. Um, I'm definitely getting the energy of luck, okay? Good luck. So we're going to see what your angels have to say about this unexpected blessing and windfall coming in. All right, for Virgo, please. Guardian angels, what does Virgo need to understand or be aware of about this unexpected money coming in this week? Any guidance? This is nothing but a big, happy change. I'm getting finally, that's the energy I'm picking up. No wonder you're coming out so confident this week, Virgo. Not that we're not naturally confident. It's just that it's been tough. It's been rough. You know, we've been putting on that smile, even though we may not have been, you know, in a good mood. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we're we're filled with joy. We're happy to be alive. But sometimes, you know, big, happy changes is what really makes us feel confident about life. Seeing our manifest, seeing what we 
have always dreamed of in our heart that maybe we haven't shared with other people actually coming to life. Okay, so this is going to be a very thrilling, exciting, um, very abundant week for some of you. Okay, um, just know we have from angels manifestation brings, which is, you know, prayer, meditation, uh, excuse me, not manifestation, meditation, prayer brings answers. Okay, so if you're like, uh-oh, is this my abundance coming through? Is this windfall connected to me? All right, so if you're saying that right now, it's saying meditation prayer will bring you your answers. Okay, now, of course, if you would like a personal reading, I'm open. Uh, you can reach me at virgospeakstarot at gmail.com, and I got you. Now, one benefit about personal readings that I've um, added is that I will, you know, try to get your reading done within 24 hours, okay? Because my energy is so sensitive these days where, you know, I get drained so fast, now I'm doing it in a way where um, it's like I've made some life changes to where, you know, I'm not always so zapped out. <laughs> so, Virgo... Spirit is saying whether you can get a reading or not, there's no need to worry, okay? There's no need to worry, guys. Again, this is just, I keep picking up the energy of release, relieved. Something like dropping a heavy, heavy burden. It's like, say one day you were thinking about bills and overwhelmed and bills are piling up, rent is due, and then all of a sudden it's like, you have dropped that burden because you're not even thinking about that anymore because of these big happy changes, this unexpected money that's coming in. This is what's going to change your whole view on life, like right now, okay? So Virgo, this is beautiful. Now, when I was pre-shuffling this deck, release came out. So let's see what's going on. Because, Virgo, it looks like you have already done that. And I feel like for some of you, um, this is a really beautiful week. And I'm also picking up this is a beautiful month. June is definitely um, the month to receive. Um, I'm also getting a lot of rainbow colors in these cards. There's rainbows everywhere. So I feel like that is a lot of good luck and blessings. A lot of peace, harmony that's being in happiness being brought back into your life. That's why Spirit is saying no need to worry, Virgo. Your prayers is 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 has been answered. Wow, I love that. Yep, we have approved. There it is, guys. Approved. All right, something is getting approved this week. Okay, this could be what you asked for, what you prayed about. It was approved. There's no need to worry. Expect big, happy changes. Whatever you prayed about, asked for, what you've been writing about, visualizing, trying to manifest, this is what's coming out. Now, I want to go ahead. We got approved here. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful confirmation, even if it's for just one Virgo. Now, when I was pre-shuffling, let me see if it, yep, the same cards are here. When I was pre-shuffling, these cards came out. The first one was Ascension. Uh, I'm going to pull it back out because... I felt I felt like it was a, a good message and I was like I should have been recording. But I was like, no worry, I'm gonna incorporate this if if it blends in, in, in the reading that I do. So here we are, Virgo. Now we got big happy changes, unexpected money, a blessing, a windfall. We have approved, no need to worry, and meditation prayer brings you answers. And we have your energy starting out for the week, confident. All right, so this is beautiful, guys. <laughs> this is beautiful. Now, Virgo, if you are like vibing with this reading, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out in a major way. And it also helps other Virgos 
who need this guidance, okay? Now, we got Ascension Lift, Manifest Your Dreams was at the bottom of the deck. Create Your Vision, Cosmic Diamond, and Rose Gold Cosmic Pool all fell out. So, Virgo, we're going to get into this. Now, the first card that hit the table was Ascension Lift, number 39. Prepare for rapid spiritual growth. Be ready for opportunities. So this is exactly what we were talking about in yesterday's reading and pretty much, I'm sure, this week. All about this rapid spiritual growth is what's opening up these doors for you, which is bringing these opportunities, your confidence, your major growth, these changes that you've made within is 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 opening these doors and bringing in this unexpected money. So congratulations, guys. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I'm hearing when it comes to your financial concern, there's no need to worry. So we have an ascension lift. You, I, and I was picking this up yesterday. I said elevating spiritually. Yeah. That's what's going on with you guys, okay? So I feel like now you're going to be able to manifest like nothing, like no other. It's like, yeah, there's no need to worry because now you're going to be able to bring in, attract, manifest unexpected windfalls like it's nothing. So that's why Spirit is in Virgo, as powerful as you are with this ascension lift. Be ready for these opportunities, okay? Um, we have, and, and don't forget to spread the word. You know, if you know God blessed your life, if you know God blessed you, make sure you share this. It says, Virgo, be a cosmic diamond. Spread hope and joy. Illuminate the world. I'm hearing let everyone know how blessed you are, how favorite you are, what you did. For some of you, you have a million dollar book or an idea where you're going to tell the world how to manifest rapidly, okay? You're going to share your story. We have Rose Gold Cosmic Pool, bathing in cosmic love, soaking up wisdom. All right, I'm getting ancestral wisdom and guidance here and love. And I've been picking that up for a lot of Virgos. There's some sort of guardian or ancestor that's always around you and always is present um, during these ascension moments and growth moments and when blessings are coming. It's like if there was someone that you always shared your good news with, they passed away, they're still here in those times. Wow, this is big. So Virgo, while you're, you know, going through this major spiritual growth, you have no worries or concerns. And that's why you're starting out so confident because number three, you're going to be able to create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. You're, you're being called to go down that path, that money path, you're being called to take action, to create that vision, and then focus on it. Manifest your dream. For some of you, it's buying a home, but this is not any home. This is the home, the home you dreamed of providing for your children. You know how, you know, we don't always have planned pregnancies. So I feel like the life you dreamed of, maybe as a younger woman or a younger man, you dreamed of having this big home to provide. You maybe dreamed of or or visualized or, you know, had a vision of having like an abundance, like maybe 20 packs of diapers already stacked up. You know, you got cabinets and deep freezers filled with food and you just have, you know, pets. You have a happy life just filled with everything in your heart. I feel like this is what's coming. The life you've always wanted to provide, the home, the lifestyle. So for you, for some of you with this unexpected money, you're going to be accomplishing I don't, I don't want to say fantasy, 
because it's more like something you it's stronger than that this is something that you desire and you're hungry for but you never thought that you would get it and that's why it may be a fantasy to you but this dream is gonna leave you feeling satisfied and content for the rest of your life these big changes it's gonna be big for you like for someone else two million two million dollars is nothing but for you this two million dollars is everything okay it's like this blessing is tailored just for you. And I'm just this is this is really bigger than I I expected. This energy is massive. Virgo, you're manifesting your dreams and you're going to tell the world how you did it and you're still going to be able to make money and profit off that. This is just big. And you're doing what makes your heart sing. And you're taking action. You're. I can't wait to see what the tarot has to say for Virgo, please. Again, if you guys are enjoying yourself, if you're enjoying, if you're enjoying this guidance, make sure you guys hit that like button. I greatly appreciate you, Virgo. Let's get into the tarot. Holy Spirit. Oh, we got the lovers that flipped out in reverse. I don't know who that's for. Okay. Let's see. Holy Spirit for Virgo. Show me more about these big happy changes. Unexpected windfall. We have Virgo manifesting their dreams. So Virgo is coming out as the king of cups. Very mature. Very emotionally balanced. Um, this is emotional intelligence. I'm getting um I'm getting an energy of learning from a lot of your lessons because I feel like you were very emotional and that may have clouded your judgment or you made decisions off of your emotions. I feel like coming out standing strong or you know as he's sitting in his chair as a king. I feel like you're strong though. You're rooted and you're strong in your energy you're balanced it's like nothing can ruffle your feathers um and i feel like this this type of energy is powerful that's why you're coming out confident gangsta boo you're coming out confident today you're coming out confident your energy overall this week okay because remember virgo is experiencing an ascension lift Okay, so you have every reason to feel beautiful, grateful, powerful, okay, able to attract the things you want. You might say something, and if you don't go take action on it, somebody else is going to bring it to you. Like, I could be like, you know what? Oh, my God, I miss my candles. Next thing you know, I'm getting candles brought to me, okay? So it's like you're just going to be e able to easily manifest with no need to worry, Okay, Virgo, this is beautiful. And own it. Own this energy. Own it. Okay, guys, create the vision and focus on it. This is beautiful, guys. So the King of Cups, you're coming out confident, balanced, ready to see what this week is going to throw at you because you're prepared. All right? I'm loving that energy. Look at this, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, you know what? I honestly feel like this is so Virgo's energy. I, I mean, you know, I can understand all earth signs relating to the Knight of Pentacles. Um, but Virgo, I feel like just putting the highlight on us, I feel like we work so hard in the workplace. It's like we don't have it in us to be lazy or to slack off cut corners you know we do things so by the book and i feel like virgo this week that's exactly what you're doing you're putting in that overtime you put it in those hours you're working you're focused because you're you're driven because you know it's gonna pay off virgo see virgo is the type where 
they're like, you know what? I don't mind working hard. I don't mind a blessing, but I really would enjoy it even, you know, better if I earned it. And that's Virgo's spirit. You know, we love ble blessings, gifts, but we really love it even more when it's a check we're cashing that we earned. And I feel like this is the spirit this week. You're just very passionate and driven about what you do. You know that you do a pretty good job at what you do. You're the best at what you do. And you're focused. You're focused on that stability. You're focused on your goals. You know, I'm going to work this job for a year. I'm going to save up the money so I can put it down a down, you know, a $20,000, de you know, deposit for the home. And, you know, I'm going to put down 20 grand for the home. And, um, you know, I still want to put in for my savings. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get that life insurance policy. And um, it, this is just business. You're just focused on any type of security that's going to go towards the future. Okay, so that's what you're focused on, guys, this week. It's like, you know, things that make sense. Anything that has to do with money, handling business, you're there. And you're taking care of business this week. I'm loving that energy for you, Virgo. You guys, this is a beautiful energy to start your week at. So I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. And I'm feeling it too, guys. I'm feeling that energy. Um, you know, um... Uh, you know, just like I was saying in my other video, I'm cleaning up my home, getting everything in order, deep cleaning, getting everything. And I don't know where this spark of energy came from, but I don't know if it has something to do with my emotions being balanced or, but I have definitely felt an energy shift with me, okay, where I'm just so focused on, you know, my business here on YouTube. I'm just so focused on you know, what I want to bring to my viewers. I'm just like, you know, I'm ready. I'm I'm so ready this week. And I hope you guys are tapping in and soaking up whatever wisdom you can soak up. Soak up all the love because, guys, you are highly favored and you are definitely loved here on this channel, Virgo. So let's continue. Let's continue. So I can see here that this Knight of Pentacles... And this King of Cups, okay, so this is what's influencing your energy to stay balanced, to stay focused, to stay positive. It's because you have a goal here that you want to accomplish. You have, okay, so let's keep going for Virgo, for Virgo. We have the high priestess here. Okay, so the high priestess and we have judgment. Oh, yeah. All right, Virgo. So with this high priestess. Okay, just making sure the cards are not in reverse. This high priestess is letting me know that you have received the knowledge you're holding it in your hand. Look at her. Yeah, you have the knowledge. I feel like there's some sort of ancestral knowledge that's being passed down to you. Um, some sort of, you may have been taught how to pray or manifest rapidly. Or there's some sort of knowledge, wisdom, guidance that you have here that you possess. Okay, as the high priest is representing uh, strong intuition from source. Um, receiving messages from source, guidance. And I'm also picking up disciplined judgment here. I feel like this is what ha I'm hearing renewal, renewed. This is what happened. For some of you, there was some sort of wake up call. 
Something woke you up. Something happened here that got you. You were off track. And now you're balanced and back on track. Whatever this hap whatever happened, it has something to do with your spiritual team, your ancestors. They had to step in and wake you up and let you know, Virgo, by giving you this knowledge that there's a certain assignment or agenda here that you have to meet or fulfill. Okay? It's like I I'm telling you, for some of you, all of this money that keeps coming out. It's like it was meant for you, Virgo, to receive this large amount of money to set things right for your family, your bloodline. This is some kind of, yeah, karmic reward or something that's coming in and it's meant for you to receive. Every day you're being given an opportunity to correct your wrongs or to get aligned on the right path. That's why we have judgment here. You've been given a second chance. The four of wands. This is abundance. To have it all. Everything you want. Stability. A partner. Whatever. Money. The amazing business partner, whatever it is, you're not going to have to worry about it. It's coming in. So let's see what else this week. For Virgo, any challenges, anything that will cause any blockages or, okay, the hermit, okay, this is like going in and out, okay, this is like unstable energy, the hermit coming out sideways, so Virgo is like, yeah, there's a strong focus this week, guys, there's something that you need to, yeah, Spirit is saying, remember, the energy on the energy that is requiring you to focus is focusing on your vision. So no distractions this week, guys. This is so important. We had the hermit mode coming out sideways. So, you know, one minute you might be all in and then the next minute you might be out entertaining friends. And I'm not saying be, you know, completely isolated, but... Um, this is a good time, Virgo, to only, only, only focus on your vision so that you can manifest it, okay? Sometimes you got to do something a little bit out of the box in order to get different results. Sometimes you got to do something different in order to see something different. And that's what I'm picking up here. With this hermit energy, it's not going to be easy, okay? It's not going to be easy, this is all about climbing that mountain, climbing that ladder. Like, you know, like I say for our sister sign, the Capricorn, the goat that climbs that mountain. It's a lot of hard work. You may find yourself alone up there. Okay, Virgo. So spirit wants you to know that as well. You may find it lonely at the top. Okay. You might find it very lonely once you get there. Okay. Okay. So that's why it takes so much wisdom, guidance. You have to be ready for this because it's not going to always be the sweetest, most loving people up there either. Okay, you got to use your discernment. You got to be wise. You got to know when it's your time to go because you have this beautiful, beautiful light that shines in a very dark place. Okay, at the top, it's not always roses and sunshine. Sometimes it could be nothing but snakes up there. Okay, so Spirit is saying that can be a challenge, an obstacle that you don't see. Once you step into this unexpected money, now you're around sharks and snakes and people you can't trust. So be careful. That's why you're showing up as a high priest is holding that sacred knowledge. It's something that you know. Not just follow, yeah, Spirit is saying follow your intuition as well. It's very, that's what's going to keep you out of situations that are unclean, unsafe, you know, that's not for you. Your intuition is going to always let you know 
like an alarm when something is not right, okay? Especially your spiritual team that's with you. They're definitely going to be letting you know, like, when someone is not right, okay, Virgo? So you are protected. I love that energy. You are very much protected. And look, we got the Queen of Swords. I have absolutely nothing to worry about. Because remember, Virgo has graduated. Virgo has experienced that ascension lift. You're like, mm, I ain't got nothing to worry about up here. Bring it on. All right? Just don't... <laughs> Just don't say the wrong word because, you know, Virgo will come out that shell and set you straight as the Queen of Swords, okay? The Queen of Swords, you know, has a mouth like a weapon. She will get you straight, okay, and tell you how it is. So coming out as the Queen of Swords, as you can see, she's also in a very high you know, she's like at the top of the mountains and he's like at the top of the mountains area as well. So this is letting me know, Virgo, that when it comes to you climbing that ladder to success, when it comes to you reaching the top of your career or, you know, elevating because of your success and the money that you're receiving, you're going to be possibly living in different neighborhoods around different people. And it's like, you know, spirit is saying with this owl, I feel like this spiritual, this ancestor or spiritual growth or guidance that you're receiving. Again, I feel like for some of you, you have some sort of um, guardian that's always with you. That's going to be letting you know, like an alarm and and. This person is not right. And what you're going to do with that sword is let them know before they get anywhere near you that you are not allowed in my presence. Okay. So Virgo, this spiritual growth is going to help you in so many ways. Okay. When it comes to you living the life you've dreamed, you're not going to be the same person. Where people can run game on you or you're too sweet. Coming out as the queen of swords, you're not going to allow emotions to affect the, you know, the judgment that needs to be served. The, you know, so, okay, Virgo, I'm loving this energy. <laughs> I want to get Holy Spirit's message for Virgo, please, for this week. Virgo, you're coming out confident. You're coming out emotionally secure you're coming out using major intuition and discernment this week you're embodying the queen of swords this in intellectual what was the word I was going to use intellectually mature this energy is going to take you so far this week and also for you to receive exactly what it is you've been waiting for this is what's bringing balance and change into your life wow so we have the temperance here this is the holy spirit's message this is an earth angel letting you know, Virgo, this is what I've been working on. Let me show you. Let me show you what I've been working on. And it's exciting. This unexpected windfall. This unexpected money that's coming in, guys. This is going to change your life. It's going to create a new beginning for you, a new life. You're not going to be living filled with worry anymore. Yeah, look at this. Look at you, the chariot, moving forward, buying new cars, new homes, happy. And spirit is saying you're so deserving, especially showing up as a king, um, as the chariot. Because the chariot is someone who won the war. 
It's like the war was all the challenges and obstacles you had to face on this path before you received your abundance. Because you didn't give up, because you were the supreme soldier, because you knew that you had to have God on your side at all times. You had to be balanced. You couldn't be too nice, too mean. Know how to say no when it's time. Know how to be there for others even when you don't have everything you want. There was a lot of balance and maturity and self-growth that had to take place with the chariot before he's able to win this war. Before he's able to move forward victoriously, there was challenges major that you had to face. But you got through it. And Spirit is saying it was <laughs> it was team effort. You cannot do it on your own, Virgo. The Three of Pentacles. In order to, to get to the these this level of heights, you're gonna have to get some spiritual guidance here, guys. And this is what your ancestors, your your um, guardian angels, your spiritual team wants you to know. The Holy Spirit wants you to know, Virgo. You're on the right track, guys. You're on the right track. This spiritual guidance is going to take you to the finish line. Congratulations. Congratulations with the Ace of Pentacles. This is big, guys. I'm going to leave your reading here, Virgo. This reading was very phenomenal. Uh, yeah, Spirit was like, let me go ahead and get a self-care message for the week. Self-care for Virgo. Virgo, you're already so on point. Like, you're already starting out super confident, emotionally intelligent, very balanced energy. It's like you have this go-getter mentality you're ready to accomplish all your goals. It's like this week, this is the most on point you've been all month, okay? Um, so let's see what's going on. Virgo, what is the best self-care message for Virgo? The best self-care for June 10th? Okay. <laughs> all right, so we have Speak Up. So Virgo, there may be something that you have to say or speak up about. So don't worry about conflict, okay, to try to keep a peaceful environment. Sometimes, you know, we just, you know, of course we don't want to just fly off and, you know, and just, you know, oh, this and this and this, you know. You know, you're going to still communicate, you know, properly and, you know, respectfully, but there is something that you need to say. And you can be assertive without feeling like you're disturbing the peace. Okay, Virgo? And, and you know, we do fall victim to that. Where we just, you know, we don't want to disturb the peace. So we won't say something. But Spirit is saying, no, Virgo. What you're doing is starting a war inside of yourself. Whenever you hold back. Okay, so... You may be going through that a little bit with the high priestess energy. You may be holding on to something you want to say badly. But spirit is saying, no, Virgo, you're just creating like unbalanced energy within yourself. And you're going to come out of that king of cups energy. And it's going to flip either sideways or up, upside down. Okay, if you go too far. Okay, so guys, it's very important for you to speak up this week. When something is not right. Or something, you know, you have a question. Just when they thought that they were about to walk out. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I have one more question. And, you know, sometimes you don't have to apologize. You know, I'm sorry, Rebecca. I have one more question. You know, I, you know, that is the best way to be. And when you're being so, like, you know, assertive and you're speaking up, try not to be too, too nice or too, too sweet because that's robbing you of being confident and, you know, knowing that it's okay to speak up and let your voice be heard. All right, Virgo, this is definitely something that I have to work on as well. All right, so beautiful. I'm loving the, uh, I'm loving it. Give me one more for Virgo, please, this week. Any self-care guidance that's going to help Virgo, okay? Rituals. 
Okay. It says, steady yourself with simple rituals. Do the dishes, fold the laundry, water the plants, make a cup of tea, let wisdom sneak up on you. All right, so if you guys are like, I would love to soak up that wisdom that you were talking about. I would love to get that guidance, that ancestral guidance. So spirit is saying, Virgo, you know, speak it into existence and then just wait for it to happen. And while you're, you know, vacuuming, you know, um, playing with your pet or folding clothes or just doing regular things that you usually normally do, washing dishes, it has to be like a, a like a like a routine like type of thing you always do that's when it's going to come in this this guidance and you see that butterfly there that's when this ancestral wisdom or guidance or whatever that sacred information that you need as you're seeking for answers clarity that's when it's going to come in it's going to come in when you're doing something that you always do like, for example, you come in from work, you immediately water your plants right after. Or when you come home from work, you hop right in the shower. It's going to come when you're doing what you normally do. Okay, guys? So this is what I'm picking up. Spirit wanted you to know that's when that guidance, that wisdom is going to come in and you can soak it up. Or I'm picking up a spiritual bath. Okay, you may want to tap in. A spiritual bath will be amazing. All right. All right, Virgo. So, guys, this is your reading. If you're still watching, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, Virgo. But this week is going to be phenomenal. For some of you, you're going to be receiving unexpected money. Another group of you, you're just going to be continue marching down your path until you reach the finish line. So keep going, guys. It's already showing me that you're going to be a winner. You're going to be victorious. You're going to make it to the finish line. So keep going. Don't give up. And this is confirmation. You're in the right energy and you're on the right track. All right, Virgo. So stay blessed, you guys. Until the next time. Bye, Virgo.